So we've got three fractions being multiplied. And the worst thing we can do is to just go ahead and multiply the entire top and then multiply the entire bottom and get huge big numbers and then try to simplify those big numbers. Right. The best thing we can do is try to cross cancel first. So what we have to remember is like we can do 7 into 7 and then 7 into 35. Or we can do 5 into 55 and 5 into 35. Or we can do 2 into 72 and 2 into 108. Or 2 into 72 and 2 into 110. It doesn't really matter as long as you're cross cancelling factors from the top with factors from the bottom. Okay. Because this thing is actually, when you multiply fractions, you multiply the tops. So we could think of it as 72 times 55 times 7 over, you know, 35 times 108 times 110, right? And then we could cross cancel common factors, right? So um, where do you want to start? Um, well, I started with 5 into 35 and 55. Cool. 5 into 35 goes 7 times 5 into 55, 11, right? And then that's where I was, because... Good. So, so now look at 11 and 110. Okay. Right? So how many times 11 go into 110? Um, 11 into 110. Is that 10? Yeah. 10 so 11 to 11 once. And, and we can do it this way just for fun. 11 into 11, this 11 here, what's that? Goes one time. 11 into 0, 0 times. Did you catch that? Yeah. So we get like I'll do that again. Eleven into eleven goes once. <laughs> eleven into zero goes zero times. So you didn't have to know, or, or it doesn't that yeah. Anyway, but so so now we've got a seven here and a seven here, right? Right. So we can cross cancel those guys. Seven into seven once. Seven to seven once. And again, the point is, there's lots of ways of doing it. This is not the only way. As long as you're cross canceling factors with the bottom with factors in the top. Um, you will we'll end up, there's lots of ways to get to the right answer. So okay. at the moment, we've got a 72 times 1 times 1 on the top and a 1 times 110, 108 times 10. Um, just for the sake of neatness, I'm just going to write that out again. 72. So 72 times 1 times 1 is just 72. So basically, I got 72 in the top and 1 times 108 times 10 is is just 108 uh, times 10. I'm just writing it out again. I mean, you don't have to. You could just keep cross canceling here, but I just want to keep okay. it neat for students. But anyway, so what what can we do with 72 and 108 or 72 and 10 perhaps? So I actually didn't think of multiples of two. I went straight to nine. Perfect. But the, the, now the trick is you can do this. Two into seven goes three times. Remainder 1, and put a 1 beside the 12. Okay. Put, put a 1 beside the 2 to make 12, right? right? So 3 and 7, sorry, 2 and 7 goes 3 times remainder 1, right? And now we can do 2 into 12, right? Okay. So 2 into 12, 6 times. Make sense? So yeah. you don't even have to know that... 2 times 36. You don't have to do it all at once. You can do, do it bit by bit, right? And 2 into what on the bottom? You can either do 108 or 10. Not both, but one of them. 10? Sure. 2 into 10, 5 times. Cool. Yep. So then you got 36 on the top, 108 times 5 on the bottom, right? Yeah. So what what now? Thirty six. So we're thirty six is five won't go into thirty six, right? Right. So you go two into thirty six and two into one hundred eight. Sure, exactly. And watch this. Two into three goes one time. Remainder one, and put that one by the six to make sixteen. So there's okay. no need to, you know, remember that two eighteens makes thirty six. You don't have to know your eighteens times table. Just two into three goes once. Remainder one. And now 2 into 16. 8. 8, yep. And now we can do 2 into 108. And again, start with 2 into 10, and then go 2 into 8, right? 
Okay. So two into ten is five. Two into ten is five. Lovely. And two into eight. Four. Four. So we got eighteen over fifty-four times five. There you go. I'm just gonna write that out just to keep it neat. Not that you guys don't have to write it out, but I'm just going to do it just so it's clear that we have this. We're down to this now. So then we multiply the bottom? Nope. We can still cross cancel because 18 and 54 are even numbers. So at least nine will, or at least two will go in again, right? Oh, okay. Or if you can think of something bigger, that would be better, but we can at least do two. So, why not? so two into 18 goes. Nine times, right? Yeah. And then we can go two into five twice, Three. remainder one. And now two into 14. Seven. Right. So we got nine over 27 times five. So what can we cross cancel now? Um, still nine and 27. Yep. Nine to nine one time. 9 to 27, three times. Okay. I get it now. Cool. That's a long one. I mean, you know. Yeah. I'm expecting everybody to struggle with this. 1 over 3 times 5, 15. Yep. Expecting everybody to struggle with this. And just for fun, there's kind of one other kind of a way to do it which is to break things into factors. Some students like to do this as well. You don't have to, but like 72 could be written, you know, 8 uh, times 9, and 55 could be written 5 times 11, and then times 7, and on the bottom, 35 could be written 5 times 7. 110 could be like 11 times 10. Um, 108 could be like, you know, 2 times, uh, you know, 54 or something like that, right? So some students like to do that. That's fine. You can do that too, and, and you'll start to cross cancel factors. But you'll end up with 1 15th in the end, no matter what you do. So um, well, I'm just going to show this real quick to see to show that this is another way. Some students like to do it this way. 9 to 9, one time. 9 to 54, uh, six times. Um, four, or 2 to 2 goes once. 2 to 8 goes four times. And what have I got? We're getting there. Um, so kind of four times a bunch of ones. Here I've got four over five times six times two. And then two to that goes twice, two and that goes once. Two to that goes once, two and that goes three times. And I've got uh, a one over five times three times one fifteen. So, so I've just showed that really quick for any students that want to see that you can also take these numbers and break them up into their into into pairs of factors and cross cancel that way. That that's another way of doing it. So whichever. <laughs>